Well, hello, y'all. How you doing? <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing good and staying safe. I'm just not feeling my best. <clears throat> my grandbabies have been sick. <clears throat> I think it was the stomach virus, I guess. It just lasts one day. But, uh, in that one day, my uh, I woke up this morning, my stomach was like in sharp pains, and then it went uh, just nauseous and not feeling my best. Good stuff, and then uh, I was real sore. But after I took some Tylenol and stuff, I felt a lot better, a lot better. So I went and got my son some Chinese food. And I was hungry, but I don't. I wanted some chip and dip. That's all I really wanted, something light. And I felt good. I'm just a little sore, but not that much and stuff. Last night, my niece and my daughter went over to my mother's house with my daughter and stuff. With my other daughter, and they have another. They look good time over there. I'm kid free. No kids. They'll probably be like that until they go back to school. And stuff, so. I'm going to watch some TV and get in a little God time. A prayer time and stuff like that. It was kind of cool this morning. I heard from everybody, but. It's, pretty, it's not burning up hot, but it's a comfortable, okay heat. I just don't like heat, period. I ain't going to tell you no story. I do not like heat. Can't do heat. Uh, but no, I've been standing on my uh, little journey. And I'm doing good. Sometimes it's a little rough with the journey and stuff. Believe me, it's rough. But I'm doing pretty good. I have no complaints. God have been answering a lot of my prayers. Let me say Jesus been answering a lot of my prayers and stuff. And I just stay prayed up. I'm more happy. I'm, I feel free from a lot of stuff. I got a little bit that's probably still on my mind, but not much or nothing. But now, uh, even in this journey, it's, uh, I'm trying to take care of myself now. Do things that I need to do. Like, I finally permed my hair. I permed it. <sighs> and stuff. And I need to get into makeup, but I don't know. Sometimes, some makeup make you feel like it's wearing you down. But I got me some wings, some uh, Cajun wings and fries, and a drink. It's been like a cowboy cup. Well, it is a cowboy cup. Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys been with us and my family for a very long time. Jason, 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 when he was playing, he had a camp that was open for kids to come and play, right? <clears throat> so, my son that was really, the oldest one, my oldest son that was really into, um, Oh, good gracious. Don't tell them. There's a little car coming. I, I, mm -mm. But, um, he opened up a camp. And so, the, through the school, so my, we got, I mean, my son went for however many years that he can go. And then, um, he, he went to Jason's camp. 
Jason Gary. Gary? I can't pronounce his last name. Gary. And uh, <clears throat> on the Cowboys. So he used to go and practice football and stuff like that. And he loved him some football. So he got, my son got really close to Jason Gary. They loved him. Jason Garrett and his wife loved my son to death. They really loved him. And um, so when it got to college, one year I wasn't able to pay for it. <clears throat> and he let them go free. He let them, sorry y'all, if y'all hear that. He let them come because my son was, my son is good at football. But what I hate, he, as he got older in high school, is uh, when he was getting ready to get, you know, somebody watching him. One year he broke his arm, so he got a, a wire in here. Then he cracked his neck in three places playing football. But see, I was a friend, I did not like football, but all my boys like, uh, it's, nobody ain't never got hurt playing football. Nobody ain't did this. Nobody did that. I'm not a football person, so I didn't. But I enjoy watching. But my oldest son, he took it to heart. He used his head, and they kept telling him, "Don't use his head to hit people." Cause you, when he hit, he goes so hard in it until you clear it up in the stage, up in there. And so I had to take him. So he had broke his neck in three places. And he was not able to play again. And what I hate, the school, that private school that he was in, you know, they didn't, they did not give him a jersey. And if it weren't for him, they would have made all the scores that they made. And I'm not just breaking on my son like that. He was good. He was in a private school. And they just wasn't going to, they did not give him nothing. He broke his, he cracked his neck in three places for them. They were like, they would not give him a jersey at all. So I was like, I, after that, I really didn't. Because they was about the game. They wasn't, they weren't about I don't know how to say it, but my child got hurt playing for them. And they they could even, like, okay, he done got hurt. He can't play no more. Let's give him a jersey. Because the scores he made, he made those alone, really. And I did not, I do not. In private school, some of them that he went to, Stop. Right there. It all puzzled about um, <clears throat> wrench don't come with it, so I had to buy me some wrench. Because I love the wrench. I hope my food ain't cold. Because that's kind of long with this one. That's a long way from the house. And I took my son his food first. And then, I'm going to start taking pictures of the uh, food on the windows. And then I'm going to take pictures of it when I get it. These are the Cajun wings and fries. <sighs> Let me take a picture of it. I think they gave me no, no napkins, no nothing. I don't think so at all. 
<clears throat> I've been watching a lot of, um, I ain't gonna try to take that back. I haven't been watching a lot of YouTubers. I haven't. I was, but then I, I just quit. Well, I asked God if it's something taking me away from serving him. That was what it was. Okay, yeah. Um, I say this removed it from my life. He ain't totally removed it, but he how the way I used to watch YouTube. Something like that, Coke. I don't need it. I have to fix that. These wings have become really thick. I'm gonna try this little one. Is it, is it cheese and ranch? Mm hmm I'm kind of good. Kind of sitting at the park watching. Kids. I'll take it back. I ain't no kid. Well, I'm saying you can't sound. I can feel them. I can hear them, I believe. They playing tennis. Okay. Have y'all already tried the Cajun at uh Wing Stop, the wings and the fry? I remember when Wings uh Wing Stop first opened. Man, they fries was hidden. Oh I love they fry. But I always Every once in a while, I crave them. So, what may, is what is all this on? That's what I want them. They're so thick. My hands are ashy, y'all. So, like I said, I didn't feel my bed, but this October stuff, I'm trying. This was my month of my birthday. On the 27th. Mm. I'll be 56. I'm never ashamed of my birthday, my age, because in this time and day, you are blessed, whatever number you hit. So, be grateful. Whatever age you are, don't be ashamed of it. I was watching Be Love today. And that's what she was saying.
the word this way earlier, the way this way earlier, get it together. Well, I gotta tell y'all, never leave the house without praying. Pray over your car, pray over your driver. It's good, cause I don't care who I'm in a car with. I'm scared for somebody else to drive for me. Um, it's been a year since I was in my son's car and a man hit me from the back. From the side, but the back. Do y'all know I didn't get nothing for that? And my disc in my back is messed up. And I didn't get nothing for it. I don't try two different lawyers. Because of my son didn't have insurance on his car. His car. Uh, they don't want to take it to court. They don't want to deal with it. In other way, the last time I hear, it's a waste of their time. They don't want to deal with it because my son didn't have insurance on his car when it wasn't even our fault, my fault. I was driving. He hit me. He could have killed me. And he really, really got, he really would have got away. He would he got away. He would have got away with it because my son didn't have insurance on his car. So they said, you know what? It wasn't worth their time in the trouble. Because my son didn't have insurance. Well, my disc and my back is messed up and everything. But I just pray over like, I feel like this, he probably got away with it. Not no problem, he got away with it. He hit me. He had insurance. His insurance company is fighting against it. All because my son don't have insurance on his car. And the sad part, he, we was getting insurance on the car. We was waiting for his paycheck. I understand my car went up to the wall and down. I think when I called out, I called out Jesus. Uh, I'll call out Jesus' name. I think that's the reason why that car set back down. Because it just, you can pick up boom, like that. Back in October 15th, I last year. My car, my son, they told him, my, he told him my son's car. He said that uh, the axle broke. Everything. The guy said it. He even told the police. It's on record. His, he says extra broke. It was his fault. And I didn't get nothing for it. My son's car, just gone. I'm in his other car. Um, It was gone. And I just sit and think about it. You know, I feel bad because that car was... I know my life and who and we all in there was more important, but the car was almost paid off. His car was almost paid off. I don't even drive this one as much. Cause I feel bad even though it wasn't my fault. I'm like, they could have gave him money and they totaled his car. So he had to go out and buy another car with his own money. You know. That would have been the first car he actually paid it off. Now he's working on paying this one off. Starting all over. It's hard, bro. 
This world is I'm just getting evil by today. When you wake up, you never know what you're waking up to. What are you waking up to? I'm blessed. We are blessed to wake up every day. But now what I do when I wake up, thank God for waking me and my family up. And stuff. Y'all don't know how many I ate. It's good. But I'm That's good, but I'm not into food. That's why I have my nieces and grandkids and my daughter doing a lot of videos until I can get, cause I'm gonna have to go with penny shopping. But when I wanna go, so them the days they don't have no penny, they do the clearance. And I love penny shopping. But I am praying about my channel. Like, I think that's Greece. Sorry about that. Um, what God want me to make this channel to be? Uh, I don't know. But I have really got close to God. I have just thought about it's just about him. I do a lot of praying. What well, I'm gonna have to do is talk about your noise, y'all. But I'm close I'm sitting close to a busy street. Um uh, I uh I have to get in my Bible more. It's kind of hard because reading the some of the words I don't understand. I'm gonna have to ask God to help me with it, cause. I don't know a lot of those. Some of the words I can't even pronounce. I'm trying to pronounce them and then try to apply it to your life. It's the hardest thing. That's why I go to, um, A church. I picked this church because they break down what the Bible means, the stuff they read, and make it more easy for me. Cause, baby, it is hard for me to read it. It is hard. But anyway, I haven't been. I missed y'all. I'm glad the ones who sticking around, sticking around. And stuff. But I'm just trying to figure out. I know this video going to, uh, this um, video going to be, a, I mean, this channel is going to be about all different stuff because I don't stay to one thing too long. I, uh, I just don't, I don't stay to one thing too long. Now, I wish that I never stopped my penny shopping like I did. Well, 
That's what I wish I didn't do. But I, at the time, I didn't have a car. We dealing with one car. Like I said, I didn't want to drive my son's car no more because it feel bad when somebody work they work their butt off to pay something off and then somebody can come along and hit the car and don't have to pay nothing. They get away with it. And that's exactly what they said. It's because really because uh my son don't have in, didn't have insurance on his car. Yes, the reason why they don't feel like they they don't have the time for it. It bothered me because it didn't seem like my life was important to how can somebody hit you, total your car, damn near, excuse me, damn near kill you to me. It's Jesus himself because it was me, my daughter, and my niece. Niece was sleeping in the back. How? Can you hit somebody and you tell them it's t totally your fault? Uh, the axle broke. Told the police that. Even the record shows what the police wrote, shows that. His insurance fighting against it. And said because he didn't have insurance on the car that's what did i can understand if i hit somebody else if i hit somebody something like that but it wasn't my fault and how can you live with yourself knowing that you're not you didn't pay for the doctors the the visits to the therapist to the people who massage you or work on you didn't pay for my x-rays didn't pay for nothing. So I got to live with the pain in my body, in my back. And he out there happy because of what, his insurance didn't go up and whatever else. How can you as a person hit somebody like that? And you know how bad it was for yourself because he even came back there and he checked on me and that's how I know his ex broke because he told me he he crossed the freeway and uh, that's what it was he told me his ex broke and it was, it was totally his fault and everything and it bothers me it bothers me because he told her the car and he walked scot free with Just getting away with it. Uh, I have to. I had to pray about that and let God answer that because that's a lot. That's a lot to get away with it. If I would have died, or uh, uh, anybody else in the car would have passed away, we would have lived with that and then how no help didn't didn't care the what insurance in the world don't care about another human being life insurance or no insurance it wasn't my fault it was the person that you are covering fault now anyway this is how much i ate i think it's eight pieces I just ate three. But yeah. It's good. I like it. But I can't eat a lot. I think it's majority of my nerves. I don't I can't eat a lot. And one thing I, I was carrying a lot in my plate. I I I'm I was carrying a lot. Dealing with life itself. Cause during the time all this other stuff happened. The C word. Um, I was before that happened. I think I was okay, and through it all, 
I was good mentally. But somewhere down the line, and I seen the world I had, I seen that the world is not gonna change. They still kidnapping, still trying to figure out how to hurt people, still trying to figure out how to hurt these babies, who in their right mind. All this stuff that is going on in this world is the disappointment. It's, it, how another human being just don't care about another human being. And then, especially kids. How? How can you hurt somebody? Just don't, just try to live life. That's why I say it's really a lot going on in this world. It's so much. Uh, Be Love Life, she spoke on a lot of uh, stuff too. That is this, you gotta stay prayed up. If you don't stay prayed up, cause you don't know when you leave home if you're coming back. You know, they were shooting people in the car, going down the street to go to work or wherever they was going, just for the fun of it. And you know what, y'all? I think, to me, like the stuff we watch on TV, movies and stuff, some of that stuff, to me, it always been in my head. They give people out here in this world, where it's entertainment on TV, or is it? Entertainment. But if you go and search on some movies, the stuff that's going on in this world, you can look back on the TV and find something close to it. You can find something close to it if it's not the exact thing movies are made and then you see they make the movies and someone out here in this world going to try to do it and you know really do it for real in real life I see family walking with their kids, just trying to enjoy life as much as you can because as far as we see, life is definitely not going to go back the way it was. And I was hoping that since we had it had to be so terrible, I thought at least they would stop doing the things they're doing, kidnapping women and kids and stuff like that and had a moment of a fear at least put you know but these people who out here is doing wrong they guarantee going to have to get their life together and repent on the things that they are doing because You can, we can all believe it. Whoever want to believe that it's not a God, it's not a Jesus, whatever your story is, and you don't believe, you're going to soon find out. 2023 or 2024, because each year we thinking it's going to get better. It's not. It's not getting no better. My hair, y'all. Whew. It ain't gonna get no better out here because people don't want to do better. They don't want to live better. And this video gonna be long. I haven't talked to y'all for a minute cause you know what? Leave some comments down there. Help me figure out things to do. I'm trying to do this whole month without missing. No, uh, missing not one day and with me doing this with god's help <laughs> i hope i could do at least two a day you know try to figure out how to do two 
videos in one day, but I am I am totally blessed to just be doing one a day because it almost not to be one today because the way I was feeling, mm -mm. I, don't, I don't know, my hair at the ends, I think I need to just cut them off. You see, I still go from one subject to another. I need to cut that off. But I put a perm on my hair last night and I put these things under my eye. Let's see if it get better. And stuff. But what I'm gonna go home and do now, I'ma download this video. It's gonna come up late because I wasn't feeling it this morning. I was not feeling it, didn't I? I wasn't, I ain't even lie, I was in the bed. I just got out the bed to go and get some weed stops. I was hungry. I was just gonna get some chip and dip from Chili's. I love Chili's uh, cheese dip and uh, picante sauce. And I love the thin chips. And that's what I was going to eat. Because I can't, like, the food is heavy on my stomach. If I feel weighed down and stuff. So, I don't like how it make, food makes me feel. And I have to eat something light. A salad, I felt good eating. And stuff. But yeah, I didn't know a dang your fast was uh, 21 days. I did not know. But what we find out is the dang your fast, they say, is till God, until whatever you're praying about, until that is answered. And then you can stop. But I I want to I want to do my fasting and trust. But since the first fasting, water fasting, I caused myself to go into the hospital. I was put into the hospital. It's kind of scary to, I tried to, fast, try to fast. Motorcycle so loud. But I enjoyed y'all, I enjoyed y'all a lot. I, miss y'all i hate i'm not doing it like i used to um sometimes i don't know what to do sometimes i don't know what to say sometimes i just get on here and i would eat or i might walk in the store and videotape and not say a word because sometimes i just Take a moment out for yourself and just focus on how our world have changed so, so much. And I've never been so hungry for God the way I am now. I lay in bed and I try watching TV. I, I try YouTube. I really don't have a thrill for YouTube as far as watching other people where that's where a lot of my happiness was coming from because I watch people travel. I watch people buy their parents and friends and family members, houses, cars, and stuff like that. And when they traveled and stuff, there was like places I can't go. When they made stuff like that and uh, travels, I would just wish I could. I wouldn't, I'm not a jealous person in my soul. I can, I'm never jealous of nobody, but I feel good. And it's like, God, I wish I can go there. But you know, I live through others. I, you know, things I can't do, I live through others. That's why I want my YouTube to jump off and make it and, and stuff. Because I can imagine doing things that I, I would love to buy my mother a home or get her house fixed up that she's living in and stuff and it's so much i would love to do but i have to get that get up and go but it's i have really i have really been drained really drained and then the ones who um uh, i just through youtube i was living through other people i didn't like now i don't watch these people but any person but if they do like any uh pranks that is going to hurt the other person, I won't watch it. I skipped that video. 
I'll skip that video, then wait for the next one to come out. Because I don't like it. Even though they pranks, they are hurting someone. You remember I did that video on uh, on that one chip challenge? And somebody, a kid actually died from it? Uh-huh. That's why I said quit doing these challenge after people. Why would you want something that hot in your body? Why would you want to feel the pain that hurt? The one chip challenge. I don't want to do that to my body. Because you just eating those little peppers and stuff. Imagine going to the bathroom. That hurts. No. No. Mm -mm. This video going to be long. I don't mind. I just enjoy. I don't want to leave y'all. I enjoy talking to y'all and stuff. And I do a lot of talking to God. And then a little bit to my family. And then when I decide to be on YouTube, I talk to y'all. I don't be really wanting to go. I don't really want to go. But I have to go. Get back home. But I enjoy being out here. I had to come and get some of God's sunlight. To whatever. Because I, I just pray on my body. When I feel myself getting sick or something. I just ask God to control it. To heal it. And honestly. He, Jesus has been really taking care of me. Because um, it's like. What they. What my grandkids was going through. What they was going through. The way they was hurting. And throwing up and going to the bathroom. And it just lasted for one day. That's why I don't understand it. It lasts for one day. The next day they are fine. And stuff. But I pray over them too. But I felt myself. Uh, start feeling just tired and weak. And uh, cramping in my stomach. And I went to the restroom for a couple of times. And I just start praying over it. Because I don't like feeling that way. And dizzy and my world spinning around it's enough spinning and going on in this world i don't need me to spin anyway so honey i prayed over that my daughter brought me some tylenol because i got author, uh, arthritis too and it's like wherever the earth hit and the change of the weather i was in so much pain from my neck the back of my neck down to my feet i was hurting so my daughter brought me that Tylenol. I ate that. I mean, I ate that. I took that Tylenol and laid there for a while, and I just started feeling better. I didn't feel the cramps in my stomach no more. It was just like nothing really happened to me and stuff. And I just woke up like that, and I kept falling asleep because I felt better sleeping than staying awoke. I couldn't even lay in the bed and watch TV. I couldn't. I was, my body was just laying there just hurting. My world was spinning. Mm -mm. God has been a big part of my life, y'all. When I tell you, I have really been calling on God through the good and the bad and the whatever it is, these spirits that be trying to hit me up. <laughs> no, baby, you're not going to get me. I'm a child of God. And there's no way you could have touched me. You're not going to touch me. I started praying over it. I... If I see it coming, or I can feel it coming, I just, I start praying. I cry out to God. I, I just cry out. Because it's just things, I'm a person, I used to be a person who, I was in control of everything. And when it get out of my control, I get stressed out. I get angry and upset because I can't fix it. I can't change it and i've been doing that for a long time y'all where things in my life i i was trying to control it I, I, my life anybody in my family's life i try to have the answers for it but what i learned to realize and it took me a lot to let go and let god do it I done surrendered everything to him. I done gave him it all. I feel sometimes I slip back and I want to cry about some stuff. 
And but I say, God, I'm only human, so I'm not going to keep doing that. I I just understand. I give it to you, and I don't want it back. So I surrender everything. I ask for forgiveness for everything, the things I from childhood all the way up until now. I ask for forgiveness, whatever I done. If I did anything to hurt anybody or said something to hurt somebody or anything, whatever it could be, I always ask God, just forgive me because me being young or even right now, I still try to control a lot of how you, well, I used to and not no more. I just let things happen, but I explain to God what my fear is and how I feel. So... I just give them to them. It's not my battle to fight. I got to learn. You know how you, you just try to, you want to help. If you've been through something and you see somebody going that way, you want to try to stir them another way. And a lot of, especially my kids, they do not like for me to be, let them, let them be grown. That's what they say. Let them be grown. And I think I had to realize that with a lot of my family members and stuff because I be trying, like, I got the answers. I, I Do it this way. Do it that way. Instead of letting them learn on their own. But now I give it to God. And God got me at peace a lot. I feel at peace. Some things I wonder why I don't worry about it or I don't think about it. And sometimes... It hit me, and then I wake up and just start crying. But then, in a few minutes, I ask God to take it away, and He'll take that whatever I'm feeling away, and stuff. Because I have to take moments away from everybody to figure out what do I need to do to fix any situation going on in life, how to live, how to live for Him. If I would die today. I want I want Jesus to know that hey I'm doing everything I can and my powers to serve Him to live for Him and I just have to call out to Him a lot, y'all. I have to call out to Him. He always Jesus always been like a father figure for me since I don't have one, and He said He's the fatherless to the unfatherless, so. I've been like that for a while. So he always just been a father to me. And that's all I ever seen him. Even as a kid. I always call him my father. And that's how I would dress him. As when I'm with. Uh, like even as a kid. I never felt like I didn't have a father. I always had Jesus in my life. So. I didn't, how can you miss something you never had? And then, I can't miss my earthly father because I, uh, Jesus Christ always been my father. That's who I, that's who replaced it. The father to me here on earth. I never met the man in my life, but I uh, always with Jesus. I, that's an, when people talk fathers and stuff, I be like, yeah, I got a father and this and that, and, you know, as a kid and stuff. And But I, they, nobody knew that I was always talking about Jesus himself as my father. And so, yeah, that's pretty much how I've always been close to Jesus. My family made sure that my mom, my grandmother, <sighs> My great grandmother, spiritual people, very, very, very spiritual people, and God always been the main focus in our lives. So I grew up with that. And um, but you know, when you get up in age and stuff, you still know Jesus is Jesus, but then you want to do your own thing. I tried it. He came into my life, told me I couldn't do a lot of this thing no more. And, Going to the clubs. 
I tried a little bit, but I didn't. I like he said, I would not be doing that no more. And I didn't. I haven't been to a club in so long. I think I quit going to clubs when I was in my twenties. My twenty-first birthday. I tried after that, but it wasn't no thrills there no more. So Jesus been talking to me for a long time, and I even apologize to Jesus. You know. Just growing up in my 20s, I didn't give Jesus all my attention, all my time, but I knew he was there. I knew who he is. I always prayed, not as much as I pray now, Lord Jesus. I pray so much, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. I pray a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And if I fall asleep and I don't pray, I will ask God for forgiveness because my body just be so tired. And sometimes, I just don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't pray about it. Like I said, I don't left everything with Jesus. I don't know to keep praying about it or to just let it go and let Jesus handle it. So, yeah, I'm going to let y'all go because I hope oh, this is at 41. It's going to be a... <laughs> I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all. Stay prayed up. I know this conversation was everywhere. But like I said, I'm working on that and hopefully it'll get better. Just stick with the conversation <laughs> and just understand where I'm going. Uh, so have a blessed day. Keep God first in everything you do. And always pray before you leave home. Pray while you're driving. Pray when you go in that store and come out. And pray all the way. In, even when you get in your home, pray. Because you're not even safe in your own home. So... Do that prayer. Stay close. Keep God first. And the ones who don't believe that it's a Jesus, please give him a chance. How can you believe that it's not a Jesus if you don't give him a chance? Not only that, even though, even if you're mad at him, you know, he didn't promise us that we was going to live forever. He didn't promise that. So, we're going to have good times. We're going to have bad times. But let's try not to blame Jesus for our bad time. Things going to happen. He never did say it wasn't going to, something wasn't going to happen in our life to make you turn against him because it happened. Something happened. So, just keep God first in everything you do. Even when you're angry or mad, take it to God. He always want. He always listening. It's all in you. He did his point. He died on the cross for us. So it's up to you now. Because he's not going to come down here. Hey, matters what happened in your life. I'm still Jesus. I need you to still believe. He ain't going to come and knock. And you got a choice. You going to believe in him or you're not. You ain't going to. You can't stand over once. Be on one side and stand on the other side. Go back and forth. You can't do that. You got to believe. One way or another. You're going to trust him and believe in him or you're not. But I'm asking y'all who don't believe, give him a chance and let him answer. It's like I always say, it's in his time and not yours. So don't think, oh, he ain't answered. It ain't no Jesus. It ain't this. It's in his timing because he know what's best for us. Okay? Love y'all. Stay blessed and keep God prayers always. Love y'all. Bye-bye.